All right, so I had a guy, Haze of Life, leave a comment on YouTube. Thank you, Haze of Life, for leaving this comment because this one was really informative. So he said that he had an hour and a half chat with a supervisor at Angie Leeds about Pal and Sons. So he probably watched one of my videos where I talked about this company called Pal and Sons. And who these guys are is if it doesn't really matter what city you are in the United States. If you Google plumber in your city or remodeling contractor in your city, this company called Pal and Sons is going to be running ads. And they, they make themselves seem like a real local company because their tagline is voted best in Coeur d'Alene or voted best in Tucson. Like whatever city it is, they say voted best in. So it makes it seem legit. But if you go to their website, all it is is like, a picture of a couple guys and a contact form and if you scroll down and you read through all the fine print they tell you that I mean they legally have to tell you that they're just a lead reseller they're gonna take your contact information they're gonna sell it so so this guy obviously saw my video he's aware of this pal and sons thing and uh, in that video I explained that Angie leads buys these these leads from pal and sons and resells them and the way that I figured that out is I filled out the form on Pal and Sons and like three dudes from Angie Leeds called me. And I felt terrible. I offered to reimburse them. They didn't, they didn't make a big deal of it. But that's how I discovered that this Pal and Sons company somehow was leading to Angie Leeds. And like a month later, I was talking to um, the CEO... I think it was of a company called Networks, but I could be wrong, so don't quote me on that. But I asked him about Pal and Sons, and he was basically telling me that there is like a dozen big lead generation players on the internet, Pal and Sons being one of them, who they hoover up, you know, they suck up all the leads from all over the place, they run ads, they get leads off of blogs, like they do everything they can to suck up all these leads. And they have a back-end marketplace where companies like Angie can bid on these, just like eBay. It's like eBay for buying people's contact information, but it's all automated. So Angie's got all these al algorithms and computers. They know how much they can charge per lead, per area, per service, all that kind of stuff. And so a big percentage of the leads that you buy from Angie are actually coming from all these affiliates. And so what this guy was saying, I'll just read his comment. He said, I had an hour and a half chat with a supervisor, I'm assuming it was at Angie Leeds, about Powell and Sons. Long story short, it's in their pro terms and conditions that they can sell you leads from affiliated, affiliated lead generating companies rather or not getting their own leads. Nothing you, nothing you can do since you agree to the terms when signing up. They're well aware of what leads are generated by which affiliates, and that's why Pal and Sons will not be removed from their affiliates because they essentially generate 40% of the leads that come through Angie. So that's what this guy was told by a supervisor at Angie. The supervisor didn't even know where the terms were and had to keep me on the line while he searched for where it says Angie can give you paid for leads. He said there is no one you can even reach out to to offer suggestions besides himself, of course, which we know will never be implemented because they, t they make money off these affiliates. He says, I recommend having an option to turn off and on leads generated from affiliates as well as dropping Pal and Sons entirely from their affiliates. In short, they won't. And then he, he added an edit later. He said, I, told, I was told when signing up we would only get leads from in-house generations. So we had a deceptive untrained rep that signed us up. So he got signed up by a rep. Then he got a hold of the manager. The manager dug and eventually found the terms and conditions, read the terms and conditions, and it clearly states that if Angie's allowed to sell leads that they buy from affiliates. Pal and Son being probably one of their biggest affiliates, if they're supplying 40% of the leads coming through Angie, that could be the case. So that makes it kind of obvious why a lot of these leads are not very good. Um, imagine somebody in your area, like let's just say you're a remodeling contractor and someone in your area contacts another company and then you call them 
and they weren't expecting a call from you. They have no idea who you are. You aren't who they chose. You're like someone completely out of the blue. But it's not just you calling. There's at least two other contractors calling that they've never heard of before. And so that's probably a big reason why so many contractors are complaining about the quality of these leads is because the people who are answering the phone are completely confused about who's calling. They were led down this path thinking that they were doing due diligence, that they were choosing a contractor to work with, and now they're getting the old bait and switch and they're getting calls from all sorts of contractors they never heard of. They don't know if they're good, they don't know if they're bad. So you can't blame the homeowner for being disgruntled and you can't blame the contractor for being disgruntled. The blame lies in this business model that sucks up leads from all over the internet, most of which are not very good quality and leads people down paths that they didn't understand that they were going through. The best way for a homeowner to find a contractor is to go online, find the contractor's Google listing, read their reviews, look at their pictures, go look at their website, learn about the people behind the company, maybe hopefully even learn like who they're gonna talk to when they call so that when they actually do call and they talk to someone, they're talking to the person that they intended on, on calling and it all runs together. You know, it's difficult to trust anything these days, especially online. And these situations where these lead resellers are buying up random leads and selling them to people are just causing more distrust and more distaste in this whole online lead generation thing. And honestly, in my opinion, it's absolutely disgusting. So Haze of Life, thank you so much for leaving that comment. We've had a few people leaving comments lately exposing more about the inner workings of these lead reselling companies. So check out those videos as well if you're interested in how nasty this lead generation industry has gotten. Um, and if you're looking for a way to do this in a more legit way, uh, check out my other videos about just how contractors generate leads because there's ways that you can generate your own leads in a wholesome way that's legit so that when people actually call you and fill out the contact forms on your website, they, they hit you up because they know who you are, they talk to you, like it's a very, really, really easy process to turn them into a customer. And then you can stop wasting your time talking to all these people who thought they were talking to Pal and Sons, but your name is not Pal or Sons. So that's the scoop on that.